Good afternoon and a warm welcome to the dignitaries, the faculty, the parents, our juniors, and to the graduates. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your lives. Beginnings are usually scary. Endings are sometimes sad. But what lies between is what makes life worth living. <laughs> yes, this implies to each and every story. A story that has fun, a story that has humor, a story that has tears, a story that has fights, but ultimately a story that will bind us together for our lifetime. Yes, this is our story as IGTCians. So only a few days ago, we visited ITTC and everything was the same and yet it seemed a little different. There were no discussions or projects or current affairs happening in the library. Nobody was sipping hot coffee on that couch. Then we entered the classroom and we could picture all of you sitting right there, waiting for the attendance. All the studious people cuddled up over there on the first row, even today you all are still here. <laughs> <laughs> and you all are eagerly waiting for professors to begin. We could see the last benchers joking around and then hiding their faces and some students just trying to quiet in the class. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we pictured the whole class right there in front of us and we just couldn't stop smiling. It's truly really remarkable how something can have such a huge impact on our lives in such a short period of time. Rightly said, we have innumerable memories together. Like the time the boys of our class gifted pepper sprays to the girls to ensure their safety. Right then, I knew that this batch is something way beyond special. I remember our first big project together, that is the marketing project where each one of us tried to show our newly gained business knowledge regardless of how little we knew at that time and how much more we had to learn. I remember our first exam where we just couldn't figure out after looking at the question paper whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> I remember the first time we had sleepless nights because of our project. We weren't aware that this was just the beginning. I remember the first time we were working on so many projects simultaneously that it was confusing as to who is in our group and who isn't. I remember the first time we had the Christmas celebration at the Shraddha Foundation, an NGO with, uh, with, uh, which empowers autistic students, and it was a truly beautiful moment for each one of us. Another great memory for us is when our team of 10 ranked second amongst 101 colleges across India, that is in the National Entrepreneurship Challenge. Thank you. Thank you. So what made that victory more special was the fact, was the way how each and every student, management staff, and the faculty member helped us and supported us throughout the journey. It's the time we realized that we are no more a class of individuals, but instead we are an IGTC family. IGTC experience is incomplete without mentioning about our teachers who are not only our gurus, but also our mentors. Their, teaching, their teachings extended beyond the textbook mantras and pushed us to question the paradigms. If it weren't for our awesome faculty, we wouldn't have ever known the endless opportunities that lie within the industry. Professor Sidney Prabhu taught us how to identify and cash in on our core competencies. Professor Mankard taught us the value of priority versus importance. Professor Faki taught us how simplicity, structure, and clarity can go a long way towards being successful. Professor Rani and Professor Moradian taught us how to make our life a pokayoke. Professor Nasian, Professor Chavla, Professor Borse, and Professor Venki helped us discover our creative minds. And Professor Chitra and Professor Nimkar made us realize that research and analysis can make or break a company. Professor Kasture and Professor Parmeshwaran unfolded the complexities of the global world. Professor Amdekar and Professor Krishnamurti showed us how to do it right the legal way. Professor Richard, Professor Kalavar, and Professor Ribello gave the course a human touch. <laughs> Prof Professor Hariharan uh, helped us rediscover the third law of Newton. That is, every action has a financial reaction. And Professor Jeet Shah and Professor Keval Shah taught us how to get that money ball rolling. Agzo, mit einem indicious hairs und ein deutsches Gehirn, IGTC has practically made us half Germans by exposing us to every aspect of the German culture and its wonderful people. So this whole Indo-German learning environment has created a unique culture at IGTC, where a 9 a.m. class does not mean a 9.15 a.m. class, but an 8.55 a.m. class. 
where having exams without a syllabus is completely normal. Where having sub submissions of three different subjects on the same day is an everyday phenomena. Where 57 people sharing their lunch together is a regular thing. And it is perfectly okay, okay to have a surprise jalebi fafra breakfast organized by our institute. Where cutting cakes on everyone's birthday is a must. Where unanimously singing Bollywood songs post lunch is the new stress buster. <laughs> where everyone celebrates every classmate's job placement together. Where every member of the institute stands strong in support of our fellow classmates' hard times. Where Deepak Bhaiya and Vivek Bhaiya have days longer and more strenuous than ours with the additional responsibility of bearing with our ruckus. But what makes IGTC our home are those seven strong-willed and self-driven women, the dream team. Sajita ma'am. Rashmi ma'am. Veena ma'am. Rajina ma'am. Tasneem. And Prachi. You all have been our friends, compassionate, well-wishers and strict supervisors. You all, you all have, have been, been our, our family. family. Radhika ma'am, you are the powerhouse of IGTC. You inspire us all towards per achieving perfection fearlessly. You've nurtured this training center to be one of the finest institutes there could have ever been. And to our parents, your support and sacrifice has made us what we are today. We, we love, love you all. all. So, to conclude, hey, all I'd like to... Hey, wait a minute, Swarubi. How can you conclude this speech without talking about the internship? One of the most important parts. Sorry, Sorry. I, I won't steal your thunder. Go for it. <laughs> so, Ketki, you have been interning with and uh, absorbed by Siemens. Would you like to tell us about your experience? Siemens has been an amazing learning experience, which fortunately got converted into a job opportunity. Initially, I was really clueless about how the communication team functions, but along with the academic subjects like, like business communication, advertising, and of course, the immense exposure during my internship tenure, I can say I just can't have enough of this dream. During my first stint of internship, I was majorly working for industrial exhibitions like Intellect and Acrex. I was exposed to logistics, operations, last minute decision making, and the most important of all, patience all at one go. It was really difficult, but trust me, I learned a lot. What about you, Ajinkya? Did you face any difficulties during your internship? Nope, not really. Because not once in six months was I ever told that I cannot do anything. Out of the box ideas and initiatives are not really encouraged. But let me rephrase that. They are expected at Halfway. Questions, no matter how trivial, are answered with clarity in gusto. I clearly remember my first day in Halfway, Banali, Pratika and I. All of us being freshers were still given the opportunity to choose our own projects among the three of us. My mentor trusted me with the responsibility of creating foil finding framework, which was to be used by technicians for entire country, you know, which I think was very interesting. How was your second stint? During my second stint, I was more exposed to vendor negotiation, vendor management, and perfect coordination skills. Wow, that's quite interesting. For the second scene, I was introduced to sales, and I had to create a database of every residential project in Mumbai, from right from Dahisa to Panvel, all 1,500 plus of them. And because of this experience, I can say I know every upcoming and ongoing project in Mumbai for the next five years. During my last stint of internship, due to my previous experience, I could coordinate the events and exhibitions both with better confidence and clarity. For the third stint, I created warranty terms and conditions for all our 7,000 plus pro products. And I must thank a professor, a law professor, Professor Anand Damdekar, for teaching us the Consumer Protection Act so extensively that I was able to, manage, uh, to impress a lot of my superiors, including the managing director himself. That's really great, Ajinkya. Even I should mention that I was involved in every single meeting and was, and was entrusted with a lot of responsibilities which enhanced my passion to join the organization. And today, I am proud to be a part of Siemens. This is the beauty of the entire dual learning system at IGTC that has molded us all to do all today at this level. That is fantastic. Post my internship, Hafli has given me the opportunity to initiate the compliance department in India and is giving me immense international exposure. An engineer in compliance. 
who would have thought of that, right? Indeed. Well said, Ajinkya and Ketki. Thank you all. All I can tell you is today that we are at a crossroad. On your left is the path that has been taken countless times before. On your right is the least beaten path. But directly in front of you is the path that no one else can follow. An uncharted territory that only you can navigate. There are no accidents in this quirky universe. One often meets his des destiny on the path that he decides not to take. It can lead you to the most amazing triumphs or the most devastating losses. But at least those will be yours. Our IGTC family may be scattered by distance, but always united by heart. So as we carry the expectations of 25 years of a legacy, all I would like to say is be, be phenomenal, phenomenal or be, be forgotten. forgotten. Congratulations to each and every one of us today. Have a great evening ahead. Thank you. Thank you.